How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this unboxing and boot review of the Nike Mercurial Superfly 10s. These are the elite models, so the highest tier and the most expensive. You're looking around roughly 250 to 260 euros or pounds. These are a very popular pair of full boots that many people will go for, especially when Nike always bring out their blackout packs. Now with the Superfly 10s, these ones are a bit more accommodating in terms of feet types. Uh, really nice and comfortable feel for the ball and has that really nice elite material on the upper. Gives you that nice premium for the price you are paying for. So first thing we're just going to run through is the sizing, especially if you're watching this for the first time and you just want to get a bit more understanding in terms of the, the shaping and the feet types that these boots are for when it comes down to these Nike Mercurial Speed Boots. So with the Superfly 10s, it is always more targeted for narrow to normal feet types. As you can see with the design of the boots, much more slim-like, much more narrow-like, and it gives you that kind of light, lightweight feeling for speed, for speed and fast pace, quick changes of direction, cutting in. So that's why it's designed for more narrow to normal feet types. So we recommend for football players that have narrow feet or normal feet types to, to start off going true to size first. And going true to size should give you a bit of space once you've done up the laces, allowing a bit of movement, especially in the toe box area. And you can definitely feel the design of the air zoom with the breathing of the boots or the air movement through throughout the boots itself. So the small details really do make a little difference. It's a bit refreshing as well when you're, when you're wearing these for speed boots. If you want a boot that is much more snug and tighter where, where, your toe box, where your toes are really touching the toe box area and it's nice and snug in the midfoot once you've done up the laces and the same with the heel cushion at the back, then going a half size down, especially if you, if you have narrow feet, should give you that kind of tighter and more snug feel. For players that have just very, very narrow feet, you may have to go one full size down. So we always recommend if you're ever in the Nike store to actually try on the different sizing from starting off with true to size and then going half to one size down and then finding which one is most comfortable for you. And that same applies for normal feet types as well. Start off with true to size and going a half size down will give you that tighter and more snug fit for normal feet types. You shouldn't need to go one full size down as we reckon that will be too tight fitting and you may not even be able to Wear the boots itself for wide feet this one's a bit more touchy as 50 50 some people especially in our team have been able to wear these and felt com comfortable and fine when testing them out on the pitch and then the other half just couldn't wear these felt very uncomfortable and they got some blisters at the back of the heel cushion so again this one you have to try probably best to actually try them if you're in the store the night store or third party boot website boot stores if you can't access one or you can't go to one, then order them online, but order around two pairs, three pairs if you can, but two pairs usually should do it. Stick with true to size and a half size up and see how they feel. If both still give you kind of tight feelings in some certain areas or uncomfort, then it's the best idea to go for the Phantom GX2 or Tiempos, which is way more accommodating for your wide feet. It'll be much more nicer in terms of comfort wise as well and you'll just have a much nicer feel for the ball and touch as it's much more designed for wide feet and the same applies for very wide feet very unlikely for you to get these boots we wouldn't recommend it in our end but if you really want to try them on and see if, if they will fit anywhere from a half to one size up from your usual night footwear sizing should should give you a bit more leeway in the midfoot and toe box area and then you can go from there again and see if, if it's a good fit for you or if not you can always as we said go for the phantom gx with the with the collar or just without which is much more better and much more designed for very wide feet types again if you have a pair of these yourself make sure to leave a comment down below in terms of what you think of the new superfly 10s if you like them or if you dislike them or what could be improved as it helps out people that are watching this video now make a decision to see if these are for them or not Sole plate as well, you can wear them on FG and AG pitches. Some people have commented in the previous prototype colorway that the AG version is not designed for, the FG version is not designed for AG pitches like 3G, 4G. 
and then others have said it's fine. It just comes down to yourself. We recommend, of course, use out of the box to practice on both surfaces, FG and AG, um, to, to at least one to two weeks use just for the material of the upper to soften up and for you to get used to the new sole plate as it's different from the previous editions. And then once you're used to it, you can take it into team matches and, and team training and matches. However, it comes down to your personal feel. If you feel like it's too aggressive and you're going to injure yourself wearing on AG, then get the AG sole plate, which is now available on this colorway, the Blackout Auditions. And I'm sure with newer colorways, it'll be available as well with the AG, AG sole plate. If you feel it's fine with the FG, because you're going to be wearing on both surfaces, on firm ground and artificial grass, then by all means, just go for the FG as there's no point spending two pairs, 500 euros, 500 pounds for two elite boots, especially if you haven't got the budget, which many people will not have. It's better to go for the FG. If you're going to be playing on AG most of the time, then just stick with the AG sole plate, which will be much safer and reduce the chance of injuries. But yeah, thanks again for watching this unboxing and review of the Superfly Dens. If you have anything to leave on the comment section as well, again, make sure to comment down below. And we'll see you next time for another unboxing and boot review in the near future. All the very best and take care.